Hey, welcome back again, guys, to Wargroove, the Let's Play that just keeps on giving. We are in this uh, giant battle, which has been just about my favorite battle so far. Um, even though it's very big, it's also not very hard. You kind of get to just revel in the sheer scope of it. What did you build? You built more navy last turn. It looks like you spent all your money on naval units. Um... Not what I would have done. Okay, um... Yeah, apologies that this... Um... Let's Play just seems to go on forever and ever. But, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna take the 78% damage there. Because we're gonna knock you out with Koji. Alright, Koji's Groove is almost ready. And what can you reach? You can reach that knight. Um, so, I could attack this with the dragon. It would take some damage. No, I think I'm going to throw harpies against it. I think I I'm going to try and keep the dragons at full health. Don't let, don't let up! Mercy needs I us! For yeah. the queen. And her puppy! Yeah, because now I can kill... Alright, is Dragon safe there? We already checked the, the Harpy and safe. It's way out of the way of anything like that, so... And next turn, this Dragon will move down to... Um, start destroying these trebuchets. We need to keep you out of the way of this Ballista. But I could... I could start hitting your stronghold, but no, I don't I don't feel comfortable with that. So Yeah, I'm actually not going to attack with this dragon this turn cuz I don't want to even though it's only 10% damage, I don't want to take that 10% damage. Um Yeah, I really like the dragon staying at full health. Do I only have two dragons now? I have lost some dragons this turn. Only one. I only lost one dragon. The lost dragon. That does sound like a kind of... Sounds like a fantasy novel at that time when fantasy novels were, like, really, really big. You know, like, like Circa Aragon... Yeah, I guess... I guess you guys, I just want to move up here as far as possible. Um... Yeah, I guess I'm just gonna have Nuru try and tank some of this here. Um, just for the sake of moving the trebuchet up even a little tiny bit more. And Emmer can move up the tank just a little bit more. I'll move these two, uh, the alchemist and the shaman, friends for life up a little bit more, because I don't think you're going to want to go for them. Your safest move, actually, would be to fly back up and attack this Tengu. Might be what you do. Um, I'm going to bring you over here to actually grab this piece of land there, and... I don't know what I'm doing with that with that guy. I'm being I'm being silly is what I'm doing. So yeah, we kind of just want to keep being a bully now. Um and attack you there. Oh, I should have done that the other way around and had harpoon attack harpoon. Is 
Is that enough to kill? No, it's still not enough to kill. How dumb. Uh, check this ballista's range again just to be sure. Yeah, I want to be careful about that. But we'll, we'll bring this RP up and around. Um... Yeah, we'll go for killing the warship this turn. Okay, so we managed to push ourselves up into this northern corner as well. You have a lot of stuff up here, though. There's just a lot of stuff, and I don't, I don't think I'm going to be getting Merfolk up here to attack this stuff. Harpies aren't going to be able to do all that on their own, so I don't know if I'm going to ever get around to claiming all that. Um, you just stay there, buddy. With your one point of damage. How about more warships? I'm thinking a warship and I can send a warship up. Oh, that, I made a harpoon. Whoops, okay. Um, then I think here I'm gonna make a warship. Tempted to just build more dragons. Um, I'll save that 740 for something like that next turn. End the turn. Yeah, so I realize it's April now, so it's been more than half a year since the Steam Semper, where this was one of the winners, and this is the only game of Steam Semper 2020 I've even started to Let's Play yet, so I am very behind. Um, the others, of course, being Iconoclasts, and okay, that Harpy did what I wanted it to do. Um, Iconoclasts, Brutal Legend, and Yakuza. Oh, are you running away with your trebuchet? Alright, well watch this. Uh, Dragon's going to one-shot your revenant here. Sorry, bud. Um, whoops. Whoops, I accidentally uh, ballistaed in a way I didn't mean to. Set myself up for ballista troubles. Okay, maybe it's time to just start hitting the stronghold then. Um, part of me, like, wants to keep drawing this out because it would be fun, but no, I think maybe it's time to move on here. Um, th this trebuchet still can't hit anything. I like to think that, okay, we need to use your groove. So, first let me check real quick how to use Koji's Groove. Um, there we go, Sparrow Bombs. Koji spawns two flying bombs. Upon death, they deal 50% of Koji's maximum damage to nearby enemies. So... Oh, wait. No, I don't want to move Koji in the way of where people are going to attack, though. So, let me... Let me deal with this vampire first. Get the vampire out of the way so that we don't... Yeah. Because that's the most important thing. Okay, Sparrow Bomb. Put one there, put one there. Let's hope this works! <laughs> nice. I have little birds now. Um, I don't know how or when they die. Oh! Oh, I see. Okay. Um, oh, I selected detonate. I thought I was just selecting wait. Okay, I wasted it a little bit. But that's neat. That's a neat ability, and I like it. I'm going to remember that's how it works now. Really, I am. I know you think I'm going to forget, but I promise not to. I pinky swear that I won't. Um... Yeah, let's hit this town a little bit. Don't know what you're gonna do. 
Don't know what you're gonna do either. Um, yeah, but I think I'm gonna leave the trebuchets alone somewhat because I'm just going to move into a sort of end game. Uh, get out of the way, barge. Large barge, Marge. I am still gonna move every unit in a sort of assumption that I'm not finishing this match soon. I don't want to... I don't want to predict success too early. So we're gonna keep moving everybody up. Yeah, so I think the next one... I, I think I still have kind of a ways to go here with Wargroove, but I think then just to like take a break from the pixel art style, instead of doing Iconoclast next, I would instead do, um, I would st instead do Yakuza 0. Brutal Legend I'm going to do with Oscar. He wants to do that one with me. And that we're probably going to wait till we're done with Persona 4, which is going to be a while still. Um, so gonna have to beg your patience on that. And move up. But yeah, I have been playing these games a lot slower than I should. I guess if I'm only releasing two episodes per week, and I know Wargroove, I've had to do things like restart battles because this game is hard. And I'm also like, learning the ropes as I go. Ooh, that was so close to a kill. Okay, th this is what I want to watch for, because... Yeah, I thought that would be a quick kill, and it was. I did. So the reason for that turtle going down there, though, was I thought I could bait the Felbat up, and I did. So I think I'm now in range to finish this match with my remaining Felbats. For the Florin! For Cherry Stone! For Mom! Aw, oh, Koji's being a little cutie this chapter. Uh. Yeah, look at that. Uh, this isn't gonna be quite the kill. They're gonna do a little bit of damage to the Ryu. But then I should finish it off right here. And that's game. <laughs> All right, we did it. We make an awesome team. Well done, both of you. <laughs> that was epic. You gotta really like hit that overused epic. <laughs> we just decimated an army. Yeah. We did, we decimated them. Yeah. You were really good out there. <laughs> me? You were amazing. Can you teach me how to use a spear like that? Yeah. That time where you were like, whoosh am. <laughs> And those skeletons were like, got crunch. And then you were like, whoosh. Uh, there was a typo on that one, but that's okay. Did you see that bit, Emric? Wasn't it awesome? Yes. Oh, yes, I saw. It was very impressive. What's wrong? You're really quiet. <sighs> He's worried about Mercia. Mm -hmm. Should I have been saying Mercia this whole time? Is it weird that I say Mercia? Anyway. Falder is a force to be reckoned with. Hey! But so is Mercia. She's got this. Take heart, right? Right. And victory. How many stars do I get? That's an S rank on my first try, guys. I didn't even look up a I didn't even look up a strategy for that one. I just I just felt it in my gut. Oh man, I have a lot of three stars here. Congratulations, you unlocked lore about Valder. Yes, please. Um Let's go to the Codex 
learn about Baldur a little bit. Baldur is the ruler of Felheim and wielder of the Fel Gauntlet. I read at least part of this before. A combination of keen intellect, consummate martial skill, and potent magics make him a singularly capable and intimidating foe. Baldur grew up in the in a fallow era, so named because the gauntlet's whereabouts were unknown in this period. In fallow eras, Felheim always became turbulent. Pockets of civility remained, but were adrift on a sea of rampant savagery. The dead, unchecked and ungoverned, wreaked havoc, forcing the living into acts of desperation. Despite this, until the age of ten, he lived a relatively quiet life in a remote coastal township. Able to make what able to make what it needed to do without what it didn't. That's a confusing sentence, but okay. The settlement sustained itself in isolation and managed to keep the chaos of the wider world at arm's length. However, one day in late autumn, the fragile tranquility of Baldur's life was fractured. A lawless horde of freebooters, both living and dead, stormed the settlement. They pillaged the town and, in a final act of malice, razed it to the ground. Um... Felheim reminds me a little bit of, like, Russia, how there are just periods of, like, serious turmoil where, like, everybody kind of has to break into smaller camps because the central government is so weak or someone else has taken over. Baldur escaped with a small group of other children. His next few years were spent wandering the land, initially with the other survivors, but eventually alone. Always a quiet boy, he became cold and aloof. He hardened his heart. He taught himself to fight. Then one night... When he was 18, a new chapter of his life began. He had settled for the night in a ruined cottage out in the wastes when he awoke from his restless slumber to an unearthly sight. A glowing purple orb hovered above him, its pearlescent core swathed in violet flame. Entranced, he reached out to touch it. The orb danced out of reach, and then flitted away, flying over the ruined walls and across the glinting snow outside. Baldur tore after it. It darted into a wood, an eerie phantom throwing flickering shadows into the night. It shone more brightly as it penetrated the darkness, fleet and silent. Still, Baldur chased it. All of a sudden, the wood ended, and the world opened instantly out into a wide moonlit expanse, a vast frozen lake. Baldur stood on and uh, Valder stood on the frosted shore and stared out across its icy surface. In the very center, the orb hung, suspended in the chill of the night. It seemed expectant. This is a lot. Wow. I, I like it, though. It's well, it's well told. Hesitantly, tentatively, he stepped out onto the smooth ice. It's like the orb, like, needs Valder to prove that he really wants it. With relief, he found it bore his weight. He took a few steps and waited. Still, no jarring and jagged... Still no jarring, jagged creek, no sign the ice would fail. Out across the lake, the orb waited. It seemed a long way, but Baldur made it. He crept across the mirror-bright surface, out to where the orb hung, still and quiet in the chill air. For a second time, he reached out to touch it, and as his fingertips met the cold violet flame, there was a sickening crack. When he awoke, the last thing he remembered was the splintering ice giving way beneath his feet and the freezing water closing over his head. He was grateful to find himself alive. Slowly, he opened his eyes and took his bearings. He was lying on his back, on the surface of the frozen lake, and on his left hand, he wore the fell gauntlet. That's a pretty rad origin story. Also, it like makes you feel a little bit sorry for him because he was a victim. Alright, and Baldur can raise dead, um... With his groove, he can create a skeleton uh, that's immediately active. Um, I guess it's free, which makes it different than teleport beam. Um, very cool, very cool. Then, how are we doing on time? Do we want to start the next one? Uh, yes, yes we do. Alright, Act 6, Mission 3... The Fortress. Emmerich and the gang have held off Valder's forces, but now Mercia must face the Fell Lord. Oh boy, this is like finale-ish stuff. We've come so far, Caesar. <sighs> I'm doing the wrong voice for her. I had like kind of the English accent here. And now that we're almost there, all I can think about is home. Things used to be so easy. Hmm. And now the world feels broken. Dad. I wish Dad was here. He always believed in me, even when I doubted myself. Hmm. If things are broken, I can find a way to fix them. 
<laughs> I know we can do this, Caesar. I know we can. Let's go. Let's go. And the two of us will walk up alone, but as soon as we're there, we'll have like a massive army. Huh. Cool. This must be Valder's fortress. Hmm. It's crawling with Felheim troops. But we can do it, Caesar. We can't let anything stop us now. All right. Um, we don't have any bases or anything, do we? We just need to defeat Valder, and Valder is way up here. Okay. Um, yeah, we don't have bases, and they don't have bases. We have a thousand gold to use for uh, alchemist heals, but that's it. So, um, I think the name of the game is going to be Forcing Favorable Matchups. I see you there. I see you in a perfect place to just charge and hurt me really easily. Don't think you can fool me with that. Okay. So here's what we're going to do, actually. We are going to... We're going to bait the knight. We're also going to bait this ranger with Mercia. And then we're going to... Have Caesar bait the knight this way. Um... You guys are going to come in from this way. That's that's fine by me. I think I'd rather try and take control. I'm going to I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kind of focus the left side here. Okay. You wait there and move the knight up like this. So yeah, it's kind of like, um, it's gonna be kind of like that one match we had when we were playing as Temri versus Emric, um, where the trick's going to be forcing favorable matchups. Alright, so you get a non-crit because you weren't able to charge all the way. Uh, this is going to charge up Caesar's Groove a little bit. And, oh man, I didn't think about you guys like trying to walk across the lake. Yeah, that I hadn't considered, but... Okay. i move you up here now, and Caesar's going to come back down and hide in the trees where if he gets attacked, I get free kill on the knight. Because I forced a favorable matchup. Yeah, the ranger didn't go after Mercia like I had wanted them to. Um, so yeah, I'm going to play defensive again. I'm not really worried about... I guess Valder is going to be able to, like, charge and summon more skeletons, so I don't want to go, like, stupid slow. But... Um... dogs, and we'll... We'll move you up there, too. Okay, let's just end it like that, see what happens. Yeah, so they're... They're attacking Caesar. I'm gonna charge the Caesar groove. Good, they only... They only attacked generals, which is how I wanted it to be. Um... can easily kill here. And then...
Caesar can almost get the kill right there. Um, we're gonna move. Hi, people. Gotta say hi to Pad, who snuck into my room. How you doing, Pad? Good. What's up? Not much. I'm forcing favorable matchups. Oh, is that like a fire emblem thing? Uh, yeah, it's um, it's more like Advanced Wars, which was. Um, same, same kind of very thing. similar kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, War Groove is what it's called. Yeah, really. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's really, cool. really freaking hard. Cool stuff. Good stuff. Well, I hope you kill the bad guy. Thank you. I'll do my best. Um. People just busting into my recording studio. Nah, that's cool. I haven't had Patty on for a really long time. Uh, mostly because of COVID stuff. Oh, one thing, um, I might be getting new art soon for my thumbnails, which I'm excited about. Um, Yaz, who's awesome and did the like couch art for the thumbnails I have now, is talking about making more. Okay, so I need to do something about archer here. I also made a bunch of, like, I didn't think quite as hard about the last few moves now because I got distracted, but that, that that's okay. Um, uh, dogs? Yes, uh, dog can finish off there. And Sorry, that got me all out of sorts now. Uh, but yeah, it's cool. I haven't seen Patty in a while, but uh, we're going to be hanging out tonight. Got here a little bit early. We're probably going to be hanging out. I'm making tacos. Um, Dylan's going to be here later. We might watch yeah, we have some. Yeah, to go take a Red Bull to Dylan. Oh. His job. Oh, I see. Yeah, we're going to be back in like 15 minutes. So, he apparently really needs a Red Bull. So to get this straight, Dylan... Asked Pad to come no, here he and get he a... called me. Okay. <laughs> and said, come bring me a Red Bull. And I was like, is this a question? And he said, no. Okay, that so, checks out. I charge by the minute, so... <laughs> yeah, man, Uber Eats, who is she? Yeah. All right, good times. I'll uh, cut some of that out. You guys don't want to just look at static screen while I'm chatting up Pad. Um... Yeah, he's looking at I shared a Twitter. Um, I recently shared this on Twitter, but uh, I got new shelves in my office that all of my Amiibos are displayed now, and I love them, like, so much. Okay, what are you doing here? Yeah, I'm, I'm glad you keep attacking Caesar. I am glad, because Caesar's gonna slowly heal back up. Um... If you reach down, you will. So I'll go for crit. The, the real thing is I don't want to lose anybody. I don't want to lose any units because I'm not going to be able to get them back. Also, it looks like there's no way for me to actually go through the front door. I have to go through these side doors here. So... Go for the crit here. Oh no, I can damage the door. The door had a uh, the door had a hitbox. I see. So I'm moving my rangers right through the center. Maybe that's not the best place for them. I don't know, but I'm just gonna I'm I'm just gonna keep I'm gonna keep doing my best. If I keep doing my best. Nobody can blame me. Caesar's gonna need to take a rest soon, though. Jeez, man. What, what would this matchup look like? Okay, so that's almost a kill already. So I definitely don't want to leave Caesar to take the first shot from that, do I? I'm 
no. So that, yeah, that battle pup's gonna have to take a hit. That's okay. Um... Yeah, so I'm gonna have my first damage done to a non- Oh, yeah, but I got Mercia. Mercia, Mercia can do amazing battle heals. So it's gonna, it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay, we're gonna figure it out. Yeah, I'm probably, probably have been being a little bit more careful than I needed to be. Um... Yeah, I'm, I, I'm overthinking this. I'm just so used to missions where if you don't get the perfect start, it all goes horrible. I I don't like how hurt this battle pup is already, but, like, I can fix it. It's fine. Um, yeah, get, get the kill that way, and then... Dog's gonna move out of the way, and Caesar's gonna take the last hit here. So let's just keep an eye out for... You're still only charged at zero. You're not even actively charging. Maybe maybe it's not until I get to a certain place in the mission that you actually start charging your groove. That, that's, that's what I think is probably happening. All right, so... Yeah, I actually don't want to knock down this wall yet. Um, but I want to bait the rangers over here. Is what I want to do. Yeah, I'm not I'm not ready to use the big group heal yet. Um since I might as well. No, I'm. I, I am gonna use the. Even though I'm only using it on Mercia, I'm going to use it here anyway because I'm about to just start charging up the next one. Okay, move you over here. Sorry, all all I can think about is how that's gonna like sound. Me talking to Patty while he's further away. I'm worried it's gonna like not make for as good. It, it's gonna be hard to follow. Um, yeah, so you move back now. Because now. Now I can hit you for more than you can hit me. And I can... I'll do a little bit more damage to the wall, just because... Because all in all, you're just a brick in the wall. Um... Yeah, do I want to, like... I don't know, maybe I just want to come in all on one side. I don't really... I'd rather do this right than do this fast. I don't really care about the three-star ranking at this point. Um, yeah, so I'll have you do that kill. And Mercy is just going to keep breaking right through here. Um, yeah, and everybody else wait and turn. Yeah, that's getting kind of close. Um, kind of too close, so let's move you out of the way now. Um... I can finish you off like so. And I'm actually going to move you up here because I'm going to try and 
bait you this way now. Yeah. Yeah, I just want to stay out of the range of that one ranger there. Keep getting easy kills. Alright, Mercia is in the house. This place is Let's huge. Go. Let's press on. Falder must be in here somewhere. Alright, and I think... Probably I want to stop it soon. This might be a shorter episode, but that's okay. Um, let's just keep just outside the range of any, like, big, big attacks. Move you up. Move you up. We'll do a few more turns because these turns are moving pretty quick. Yeah, this reminds me of older Fire Emblem type missions more because, like, it's like these guys aren't even activated. Oh, you got a 20% groove now, though. Yeah, so... Yeah, it has begun. Queen Mercia. Quite the infiltration. May I ask what you plan to do next? Here's my fortress, outmanned and outmatched. Uh. Foolish girl. You have less than a score of soldiers by your side. And, wait. Did you just talk up your groove? That's not fair. That's not allowed. You cheater. Oh, that's not cool at all. That That is pretty uncool. Okay, so now we gotta... Now we gotta move all these guys in. Um... But we might have Mercia's Groove. I might do that soon now. now that I'm kind of packing everybody together again. Uh... Yeah, move up. Move up. Move up. And wait right there, and wait right there. By my hand, rise! Okay. So now you have a way of making more units. And are, are you guys running? Why are you running? Why are you running? Okay, so if I do Healing Aura here, um, most of you guys can fit in there, so that's pretty swell. Um... There, give that ranger out of the way before he decides to like double back on me or some stupid, something stupid like that. Um, okay, so how about? If we move you up to here. And we move... Oh, wait, I'm starting to figure out how this is gonna go. Okay. Healing Aura. I'm here to help! Healing Aura! Okay, and then maybe we can use... Caesar... To set up... A better defense than what we currently have.
Yeah, because if we move you, like, here, and you, like, ah, uh, you can't quite reach where I want you to. Rangers move so slow. And I under I totally understand why, but it's annoying. Um... Alright, so, yeah, I want to start hitting the Revenant, if I can. Um, so I will. Uh, this is going to be, you know, it's a little bit rough, but I think now the Revenant will focus on on Mercia, and... leave the rest of us alone a little more? While I file more people in? Yeah, because def definitely you're going to focus Mercia. You're going to focus who you can hit. And I'm okay with Mercia going toe-to-toe, -to -toe, because that's going to charge her groove, and she'll be able to heal most of it back up anyway. By my hand, rise. Wait, are you raising the dead every turn? Okay, that's, um, that's a little bit more annoying than what I thought was happening. Okay, well... One more turn for posterity. This is, um... This is slowly getting more and more scary, actually. Um... So I have almost enough damage to kill this Revenant right out. Um... This is gonna mostly do it. Okay. Okay. Left a little bit of Revenant there, but it's all right. Um, so, you get out of the way. Um, you do some damage there, and I want somebody strong... Okay. Not exactly what I had in mind, but good enough. These rangers are annoying, but we will start picking through the leaves. And we'll let's move these rangers in first. Well, I, I wanted to do that. Um... Okay, you're taking an attack from dogs. That that's fine. What what is your movement? Five, one, two, three, four, five. So actually, if I move you inside, you can't reach the gate, can you? No. All right. So I'll probably just like park one of the pikemen here to plug up the gap. I think that's what I'll do. And then. Yeah, we'll get a little bit aggressive here, just a little. Um, to be safe, we're going to heal Mercia a little more. And... Okay, I think that'll be enough for today. Let's just see what this last turn has in store for us. Aw. Oh. I didn't I didn't want to lose any units and I lost Rise a unit. From your grave. Okay, at least you can only make swordsmen. Making swordsmen every turn isn't so bad. 
it, it, it's as if you have an income and I don't, because you can keep making more units. And if these four can't decide how they want to actually fight me, then that's their problem. Ugh, I want to keep playing, but I gotta go. Okay, I'm the Comic Foil, and um, next time we'll plan to fight with... Next time we'll take on Baldur, who is cheating. He is cheating. He is using his groove every turn. That is not allowed. I want to punish him for it right now, but I'll have to do it next episode. See you later.